The victory is good signs less than three months into the season, but Luton's home form was still giving cause for concern yesterday. They've already been beaten by Bolton, Burnley and Bristol City, so the visit of another B team, Barnsley, provided bad omens. Barnsley now managed by Luton old boy Danny Wilson. Danny loves to come back, uh, play good football and I think the crowd will like it, you know? David Priest, of course, was a former teammate of Wilson's. Both played a part in Luton's Littlewoods Cup win over Arsenal in 1988. But in truth, there was little for the Luton supporters to enjoy yesterday. Just one home win this season against Middlesbrough a fortnight ago, and they struggled to make an impact against Barnsley. A fine save by Jürgen Sommer from Brendan O'Connell's header, the closest either side came to scoring before half-time. Luton made a much improved start to the second half, but rarely were they able to break down the Barnsley defence. The chances that were created fell to John Hartson, the first after a fine pass from Kerry Hughes. Hartson was back in the Luton side after missing last weekend's 3-1 victory at Sheffield United, and he was strong enough to brush aside the attentions of Steve Davis midway through the second half before finding Julian James. Hartson continued his run, and it was his shot that eventually forced another good save from keeper David Watson. But Barnsley took their unbeaten run to six matches with the only goal of the game after 72 minutes. Management now takes up much of Danny Wilson's time, but passes like the one which set up Andy Rammel show the wisdom of his decision to carry on playing. Frustration then set in for Luton, and in the end, defeat could have been even worse. Just five minutes left when Andy Payton raced away from Trevor Peake's challenge and rounded goalkeeper Jürgen Sommer but then produced an embarrassing conclusion. But Barnsley 1-0 winners and Luton with much to think about before playing Grimsby on Tuesday. We got more and more frustrated with the game, I think, and played into their hands. They've got a couple of big centre-halves and a sweeper as well, and uh, you know they, they were lapping the balls up, the long balls that were thrown in there. I've got a lot of affection for, for Luton. I am uh, four great years here, you know, in, including cup finals and what have you. Uh, and to come back and get a result like we had, you know, it's uh, that little bit extra special for me. Again, we've shot ourselves in the foot, really. We've done some hard work away from home and, and destroyed it, really, over 90 minutes here. Luckily, we've got a game uh, against Grimsby coming up midweek, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back on the right tracks then. But uh, it obviously puts more pressure on that result. You brought back a few memories <laughs> for the Luton supporters with the pass that made the goal. Yeah, a good miss kick, wasn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was just one of those things. You know, it, uh, it came off well and uh, Andy Rumble finished it great.